what I saw There in the night What a wonderful scene Mom was dancing with Dad To my record machine And as they danced Only one thing was wrong They were trying to waltz To a rock and roll song A one, two, and then a rock A one, two, and then a roll They did the rock and roll waltz A rock, two, to three, a roll, two, to three It looked so cute to me They did the rock and roll Why put me on the spot right at the start? No, but I remembered your style so very well, and that was just great. Oh, that was great. And uh, you're just as bouncy and, you know. I love what I do, and I love the people I do it for, so I don't know why mm. it wouldn't be the happiest marriage ever. Beautiful marriage. And that's what triggers such a marvelous response from your audience, good, is that feel good. that you have for the audience, right? Okay, well now, uh, ten years ago, uh, what was happening in your life that made you drop out of the picture for a little while? Oh, well, let me see now. Uh, I dropped out twice. I dropped out a long time ago when I was a band singer because I did have a bad throat. And I was growing polyps. And a lot of singers get that if they sing too hard and they sing over and under yeah. colds and things and they don't take care of themselves. Did it change your voice? A, a lot of people say that it made me have a lower voice, but I don't... I never... We never had to change any of the keys, so I don't... <laughs> maybe it just sounded a little heavier and breathier and everything, but it really didn't change the register of my voice any. And you still belt the song. Then, later on, um, I think once you've had one marriage that failed, oh. and then maybe two marriages that failed, and... Uh, Are you going to stop you're there? Gonna, well, you're going to try for a third. Uh, <laughs> you know, you decide you're going you're gonna to do it till you get it right. Mm. But the thing, <laughs> the thing you really have to do is you have to make concessions. Yeah. Uh, you have to try to remember uh, that part of it had to be your fault. And it occurred to me that maybe the reason why that the other two marriages didn't work was because maybe I was too strong or gone too much or I didn't know what, but I thought maybe this being a singer Mm -hmm. might have something to do with it and uh, my husband he had a yacht he which had one? an airplane now, which one you're talking about the third one and uh, he had everything you know and uh, he wanted to give it all to me and he wanted me to share it with him and um, you'd be surprised how much time it takes to share all those kind of things I didn't have any idea but <laughs> every one of them is a different place you know you got a ranch, it's in Arizona, and you got a, a house, you got a boat, it's got to be moored someplace else. So you finally get to the point where you're just hop, skipping, and jumping. And I tried that for a while, and I gave it up. I gave up singing, seriously. I thought, well, I'll try that and see if that'll make it work. But you know something? I, did, I wasn't happy. The only thing I know to do is sing. And I missed, I missed the people that I sang for. And I, I didn't know how to be just a wife, just a companion. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't making him happy, and I sure wasn't happy. So I started singing again, and uh, it's worked out fine now. But you have to, first off, be happy yourself. Well, you're doing a splendid, marvelous job. But you know, it's awfully hard for me to sit here and look at you and say, Grandma, you are a oh, grandmother. I'm a 14-year-old grandma. <laughs> you mean you're a grandmother of 14 years? 14-year-old grandson. Where's your grandson? Well, he's, he is in Oklahoma now. This year... And that's where you're from, Oklahoma. Originally from Oklahoma. My mother lives there now. And uh, I have a theory about 
kids. Uh, he's always gone to school in California, and he's 14 years old, and I think it's time enough for him to see the other side of the coin. So I had a talk with his mother, and uh, she and I decided, after we talked to his great-grandmother, which is my mother, to see if she thought she could handle the traffic. Uh -huh. And so she thought it would be a marvelous idea. So if she don't break down, he has already enrolled in school in Oklahoma, and he's going to go. And the funniest thing is he wanted to take agriculture. He wanted to take... Um, yeah, agriculture, and they wouldn't let him take it because he didn't have any livestock. <laughs> oh, that's so I don't know what he's going to take now. <laughs> but but he, he wants to be an Okie. Maybe he's got to take pickup trucks. <laughs> a lot of people are taking them today. I come from a part of the country where a pickup truck is part of the scene. Well, you that's know, when my, mother moved, when my mother moved out to California, my father passed away. The last thing he bought was a pickup truck. So she wasn't going to part with that, and she brought it with her to California. And we parked it in my driveway. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day my car broke down, and I took the pickup truck to go to the doctor's office. And you know, I could not find a place to park that pickup truck. No parking lot would take the pickup truck. Oh, yeah. oh. They said, no, ma'am, no pickup trucks in here. So finally, I was driving down an alleyway, and I saw a police car, and I said, where am I going to park this thing? I said, I didn't know you couldn't park a pickup truck in Beverly Hills. And he said, park it right where you are and just leave all the windows down. They'll think you're making a delivery. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way I parked it. <laughs> uh, well, coming from o Oklahoma, what would have happened if you had gone on a horse? Oh, my oh, Lord. Well, well, we'll I bet that. they'd have taken it just as easily. Probably, probably. Well, now, we're going to ask you, would you please sing another song? I'd love to. Won't that be great, yeah. folks? Oh, can I, can I sing the one that... Can I sing the one that, that did it all for me? Please. Okay. Good. Get it started. No! 